Hey everyone, we are live at 5. It is Monday, August 20th, and here we are in the middle of Times Square at the Broadway.com studios. I am Paul Wontor. And I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. And over there, we have Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Look at that. And uh, so we have a little special sort of surprise we do. day today. So our, our regularly scheduled guest could not make it. There was, a, there was a mix up. It's show mm -hmm. business. It happens. So uh, we're actually going to uh, take your questions, and also we're going to uh, shine the spotlight on. Yes. One very talented uh, Broadway.com staffer yes. who just celebrated a milestone. We'll get to her. Mm -hmm. First, yes. today's top five. We found out who's going to be messing up all over the country. The play that goes wrong, Broadway's longest running play over there at the Lyceum Theater, is hitting the road. And now we know who's going to be joining the tour. Scott Cody, Angela Grovey, and Evan Alexander Smith will star in the show. And they'll be joined by Peyton Krim, Brandon J. Ellis, Ned Noyes, Jamie Ann Romero, and Yagle T. Welch. This, of course, is directed by Mark Bell and produced by J.J. Abrams. It will kick off September 18th in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and then it's going all over the country. Um, very excited. We cool. love the play that goes wrong. Yeah. Audiences are going to love it everywhere. Yeah, super funny. Lots of fun. Can't wait. And a popular London show is getting the West End treatment. So I'm dying to see The Inheritance. I need to. This is like the Me new too. gay epic, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's the new angels yeah. of America. We've Let's declared. Just say it. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say it. Um, so they did it at the Young Vic. And Tony Olivier, Tony and Olivier winner Vanessa Redgrave and Tony mm -hmm. winner John Benjamin Hickey were both in it. And they are now moving it to the West End with a new cast member, Jack Ritterford, joining mm. the cast. This is Matthew Lopez's play. Matthew's American. He is. He's yeah. an American playwright. Yeah. Um, I think we will be seeing this show in New York, although there are no official plans yet. But it's moving to the Noel Coward Theater. Previews start September 21st, opening October 13th, running through January 19th. Stephen Daldry Ooh, is the I director. Love. He's so and great. I am getting on a plane to come see it. That's right. And another London favorite is going to be rocking out all over the country. Yeah, over in London, Bad Out of Hell, the musical, is a huge hit. It was also a big hit in Toronto. And now there is going to be a North American tour, which launches November 6th in Detroit, Michigan. And Andrew Pollock, who played the role in London and then played it in Toronto, but he was recently replaced in the London production because the show is going back to Toronto before it hits the U.S. I'm and confused. then travels all over the place. It's right? everywhere but on Broadway. It's everywhere but everywhere. on Broadway right now. Um, it's going to 19 cities across the country, and he will be joined by all of his co-stars in the in the Toronto production. Um, this is a book, features a book, music and lyrics by Jim Steinman, but of course... Based on the album. It's based on the, like, I think it's a trio of albums. I think oh, Bad oh Out of God. Hell is a trio of albums by Meatloaf. What's that song? If really um, wanna know, wanna um, wanna know. Oh, yeah. No, oh, no that's the words too. Right There's took... Oh, no, no. <laughs> I just started singing, literally, <laughs> legitimately started singing Cool Rider. <laughs> you met, you know I meant to say. I, I, I think. The baseball song. Oh, yes. Um, but I, what, uh, I just, I know, took the words right out of my mouth. This Me low. Um, I would do anything, but I won't do that. That's, I won't do that. Yeah, yeah. No. no. So, uh, yeah. Get that out of hell. I sang Grease too. Oh, it's, it's I'm just, sorry. Where's the tour of Grease too? I just wonder if this will become like We Will Rock You, where, which was a big broad, right. big London yes. show that went yep. around the country and it went, but never came to Broadway. No. And no, I wonder I if we'll see if Bad we, Out of Hell. Right. But you can go see it in one of those 19 cities of across the country. So enjoy. Awesome. And a popular off Broadway show is going to be preserved forever. The Beast in the Jungle. Yeah, John Kander a, wrote this musical. Popular, um, yeah. And it, it was done at the Vineyard. Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Yep. yep. And it will, there's an album. Tony Yazbek, Peter Friedman, Arena... Do, Dro Dvorovenko. Oh. Say it again? Dvorovenko. Dvorovenko. I didn't want to say it wrong. She was Dvorovenko. here for Live at Five. She, she was. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and Teagle Buj Buj Oh, my God. I never learned how Bougier? to say his name. Bougier. Okay, I'm yes. sorry. It was a big hit. It was <laughs> extended multiple times. Yeah. Uh, there will be an album coming out September 14th. So go get it. I hear it's fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And someone is dancing back into the island tonight. 
Tamira Gray is headed back to Once on this Island. So she returns tonight. Congratulations and break a leg. Um, she was replacing original cast member Merle Dandridge, who took a break before because she, I think she had to go film more season, another season of Greenleaf, I believe is the show that she's on. So Tamira stepped in. It's and then. Papa Gay back and forth. Yeah, yeah. and then Papa so then Gay. Merle came back, but now Tamira's back because Merle's busy again. So Papa Gay has Tamira Gray back. Um, this is her second engagement. And of course, you may know Tamira Gray from American Idol or Rent or Bombay Dreams. She's incredible as Papa Gay. Go see her. Go see that show. Tony winning revival. Yes. Once on this island. We love that show. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring in uh, Caitlin McNaney is Caitlin someone McNaney. we've been working with yes. uh, for five years. Yes. Five years. Caitlin yeah. McNaney just had her anniversary. We just celebrated. She's the mm -hmm. photo director here at Broadway.com and mm -hmm. a very talented photographer. You definitely know her work. Uh -huh. uh, so Ryan, why don't you um, make way for Caitlin? Yes. And other Caitlin, no offense, oh. <laughs> why don't you tell us some more about that Caitlin? Oh. Fun fact, there are three Caitlins, and two of us are spelled the same way and with an M. But today, you're going to be hearing all about Caitlin McNanny, our wonderful photo director who just celebrated five years at Broadway.com. She is the person behind some of our most beautiful and famous shoots, and she will answer all of your questions about what it's like to be a photographer on Broadway. Be sure to follow her on Instagram at Caitlin McNanny and on Twitter at McName. So make sure you give her all of those followers. Uh, and please welcome Caitlin and Paul. Hey. What's up, Caitlin McNaney? Yay! This is so much fancier than the last time this happened. The last time I was interviewed on Live at Five, it was an iPhone 5, oh, yeah. and it was a selfie stick. And yep. it was Upgraded. Periscope. And it's been years. Not it's been Facebook years. Life. And, and yeah. now, now you're celebrating five years. Yes. And I'm I just want to say to everyone, um, one thing I love about Caitlin and everyone on the team is the ability to like just do something at the last minute and figure it out. Yeah. We decided like five minutes ago that Caitlin would be the guest. Hi. So, <laughs> so here she is. She's so glad. Kyle has his finger on the sensor button just in case. We don't have one. <laughs> I am not worried. I am not <laughs> worried. Uh, so, but yeah, this is interesting because people um, love to know about the people that work here at Broadway.com. True. And we have such a great team. So I think it's fun to sort of shine the spotlight every once in a while. And so thank you for uh, filling, filling the seat. I just, you know, call me anytime. <laughs> call my agent. <laughs> I know where to find you. Uh, so, Caitlin, let's talk about you. Five year anniversary yesterday. Um, we just had cheesecake in honor of yes. Caitlin. Like Is it? Do like I have any tea? An hour ago. You're nope, good. You're good. Okay. Um, so, do you, what do you remember about when you first came in for a job interview and what were you interested in about the job and what were you doing before you started working here? Before I started working here, I was interning at various magazines. Yeah. I worked at W Magazine. And um, I think at the time I had been working at People Magazine. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, and then, <laughs> and then I came in uh, for. I remember I came in for an interview with you, and they switched. Like it, it. We had to go to a certain floor to like go to the lobby, and then I had to go to oh, a yeah. floor above. Uh -huh. So I remember walking in, and they were like, "Oh, you have to actually go to this other floor." And I was like, "Oh." I know your game, Paul Wontorek. What was You're my game? <laughs> like you were trying to like intimidation. Yeah, in, in, intimidate me, like make oh. me like I was. Ner I had been through <laughs> the ringer though, so it's like fine. It's not actually personal to you, but I was like, I know what you're doing, and I believe I even said that to you. And I remember immediately uh, recognizing you from watching the Sherry Renee Scott show people. <laughs> I was. A, I'm a very big last five years fan, so I was like, yes, I will watch this. That is so random. Yeah. I was like, how do I? I feel like I know him. How and I, I remember you had a lot of um, headshots in your portfolio of people out in nature. Yes. With natural lighting. I prefer, lighting. yes. I, so I remember. I remember like your photos were very like nature. I do prefer to be in the world. Correct. And now you're I've... doing so much with Broadway.com. <laughs> and a lot of the photos, by the way, uh, and Emilio madrid Cooser mm -hmm. also works here. Um, and a lot of the photos happen in this room. Yes. A, a lot yes. of photos. We do we do photos on location and mm -hmm. sometimes natural light, but not really in fields that nope. much. Not really anymore. So now you're it's sad. under. Now We've you're grown. In a whole environment. I'm grown. You know. Yeah. You, it takes you. Get, you got to move a little bit. You got to try new things. Yeah. And actually, learning is important. We've been doing a lot. I mean, like the photo content on the site. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping you guys have noticed in the last couple of years <laughs> has Please. really increased yeah. uh, and very different, very different photo work and very dramatic. And we do 
opening night portrait booths. We do. Now, which yep. was sort of something we just cr- figured out. Like in, within the last two years. Yeah, and yeah. what was like what was the recent one? Which ones did you um, do? Which were your favorite opening night photo booths? Oh no, I don't portrait know. Portrait booths. That's hard. I always get in trouble for saying photo booths. Yeah, because we don't want them to be too serious. Um, <laughs> too funny. We yeah, want they have to, to seem like they're. It's not um, like a, it's not like a party booth. Like when you go to someone's wedding and right. you go and yeah. It's actually a like glasses. a. It's basically a studio yeah. set up on a location at an opening. So there are usually photographers. Generally speaking, Matt Roden is literally directly behind the actual photographer. Right. So when we go, we have very little real estate at an opening Mm -hmm. and Matt Roden is doing the video. He's doing the red carpet challenge and other interviews. So a lot of times they have to negotiate space. And yes. Emilio actually takes up a lot of space. He moves he, a lot. Well, his legs are so long. <laughs> his legs are as long as my entire body. <laughs> it's like so And he'll like bend over and I'm like, you're laying on the floor. I remember you did some gorgeous portraits at uh, Angels in America. I did. That was really fun. We actually had a really great group that day and everyone was really like, they were down to help us. One of the craziest ones was... Um, We didn't really know if we were doing the straight white men opening up until like three hours beforehand. (laughs) Right. So this is when this is when um, Times Square comes in handy because you can just run out and buy like a dress at Forever Twenty One and be like, "It's okay. Nice to meet you, Army Hammer." (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you photograph people like Army Hammer. Yes, I did do that. Um, That's true. I actually, we have a hallway outside our studio, Mm -hmm. and we uh, have been decorating it. So we just put this huge logo, Broadway.com, because this is where a lot of the talent comes through. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to make it look a little more branded, a little more exciting. So uh, if you look at my Instagram, there's actually a video of the sign going up. But it looks gorgeous, by the way. I didn't get a chance to tell you the, yet. The, the, the logo? I love it. Yeah, it's nice. It's great. It's, things are good when they're big. Yeah. Um, we've <laughs> also been printing some of Emilio and Caitlin's photos. And so right before we went live, because we decided the last minute, I just grabbed a bunch of them off the wall, yeah. even though I had just are finished making them look great. These are yours. <laughs> so I just Make want to sure. share. These are some th- that we printed that mm-hmm. I think are really fun to show. Oh, I love this. So, um, Oh, yeah. Is there a that glare, a Kyle? Good one. Can you see it? Down, yeah. like that. Okay, so oh, this, Billy Porter. This was a, one of our more recent yes. shoots. And this, this is, happened right here in this studio. MJ mm-hmm. Rodriguez and Billy Porter. This is for Pose, of yep. course. And I love this so much. Mm-hmm. They were so fun to work with too. Yeah. They were very, uh, like both of them were just so interested in in getting that show out there as they should be. It's such a good show. And Billy changed his glasses like every oh, two minutes. Oh gosh, he I, if I honestly have an like eyeglass store. <laughs> And he, I would love some of the... No, I'm kidding. Some specs? Yes. And Billy Porter's he, I mean, look at how gorgeous he looks in those. His yeah. teeth are so white. I didn't do that. And this that's is a Billy. fun... Yeah, sometimes you make people's teeth whiter, but these are just Yeah, his no, teeth. that's just him. Um, that's all Billy. This is uh, a really fun shot, but there are a lot of very dramatic shots that yeah. way, too. Yeah, she's wearing a cape. There's a lot of drama yeah. in the show pose, obviously. Uh, here's another one I wanted to show. Oh, yes. So this, that's this, a fave. I, this I really love. This is... We did this for the uh, 30th anniversary of Phantom mm-hmm. in January. Yep. And what did you want to do? Well, we basically wanted to make it just as dramatic as the show is. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Phantom. It's only been on Broadway for a very short time. But <laughs> it's we wanted it to, f- to have the drama that they have in their show. And they're so beautiful. All, like... Look at them. Where'd you shoot this? This was actually at the Nave, which is a part of the Parker Meridian right. Hotel. Right. And up until about eight hours before this photo was taken, I didn't have a location. So it was True. very like I was calling everywhere and just being like, will you please let me bring 15 of my closest friends, a stylist, and 150 roses and, well, to that's your the space? Thing. Yeah, I wanted to point that out, actually. There are rose petals. All Caitlin, over. I remember you We sh- you got some hum. You had a huge pile of roses when we, we did. got there. Yep. Yeah. We had a bunch of roses. And actually, Emilio is in this photo. I had to Photoshop him out. But Alex Goyko, our videographer, is also right there. That's funny. There's, we also shoot video yeah. at all these things. We do, um, yep. It's a big crew. All of us I, go together. I think this is a very good example of making something sort of capture the style mm-hmm. of Phantom yeah. and the colors without being obvious. Yes. So I like that. It was very, it was Even a very the shadows on Peter Yovac's face. I know. Yeah, that's good. We were trying to, you know, Such he had to one. get there. Emilio okay. held a giant light that entire shoot. I was his gym membership that day. Who are these girls? <laughs> oh, our mean girls ladies. So this is one of our opening night 
Portrait booth. Yes. Yep. This was just, I mean, you might think this this was just like figured out in the moment. Yes. It was literally, hey, can they sit in those dresses? Okay. Right. <laughs> you should sit. Right. Maybe you should sit. Right. Our friends, uh, Kate Rockwell, Taylor Louderman, and Ashley Park. Yep. Right Kate. before they went to party until their feet could no longer stand in those shoes. Yeah, it's beautiful. We had a lot of fun we with We did them. another fun shoot with Ashley Park, too. Oh, yeah. We did. Um, Hi, so Ashley. Okay, this, um, I know you have a lot to say because you just finally got to see this. Oh, I did just get to see this. So Kate, this, this is, of course, Karen Olivo yes. and Aaron Tveit, who are coming to Broadway, you guys, in Moulin Rouge. And Kate and I both saw it last week. We're both very excited. In Boston separately. Both loved it. But this was actually months ago. This was mm -hmm. before they had started rehearsals, but they yep. hadn't left for Boston yet. Nope. Yeah, they uh, we did their. Uh, they actually tried on those clothes like during a rehearsal yeah, around the corner right. from here. That's right. So it was very like right before they left, and then they came and they announced for the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards. Yeah, they came and, and then did our nomination. We took a, a cool thirteen minutes to take this photo. And this was shot where? In our lobby. In our lobby. <laughs> Which does not look There's like this. There's a lot of glamour you in our job. You can do a job. lot of paper There's and lights <laughs> and creativity. It's, let me tell you. I mean, when you have people like Karen Olivo and Aaron Tveit, it's not, I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. We were talking this morning about how we both cried at the end of the Roof. Uh, you can't, yeah. you can't put Aaron Tveit, like, hold it, cradling a woman and crying this without is, everyone oh, else doing so it. Um, okay, so this is, um... <laughs> So this is another, I like this because this is the great, this location is gorgeous. Oh, gosh. But this was like this crazy warehouse. It was. Um, it's a beautiful space. This is Jesse Mueller and Joshua Henry, of course. And From Carousel. Carousel. We did a shoot with all five. pre clam bake. All five. <laughs> all five of the ladies. Uh, and I just love how they're styled, and I think it's beautiful. I mean, Jesse Mueller, am I right? Look at how gorgeous she looks. She was really, you got other gorgeous sh shots of oh, her that day, it too. it was so, I mean, I mean, I can't even, I literally can't touch on anything having to do with Joshua Henry. And the solo you have just, of him in the chair. Oh. And it was like a whole collaboration. We had a whole conversation about it. We were like, oh, it's fine. We'll just, you know, just take an extra six seconds before you walk out yeah. the door to throw you in a chair and take off your jacket. Yeah. But, no, these shoots are all very fun because these actors, a lot of times, are very down. They want... They want to make good work. They want if they're gonna take time out of their schedules, which are insane, mm -hmm. to come to Queens. Queens. In Queens yeah. to take a photo. They want it to be good. It has to be worthwhile. So yeah. they're most of the time, most of the time, they wanna play with yeah. you. They wanna make yeah, yeah, yeah. good work. So we like it. What's been the biggest surprise about your job and getting to know Broadway people? You didn't really necessarily know Broadway. No, that much. I was not. I wa like I was um, aware of various Broadway shows, and I'm I I, I uh, told Paul about this again. I was a movie musical girl. Like growing up, I I watched all the movie musicals. I knew them all. I know them all. But coming to Broadway and starting to work on Broadway, I was a little new. I was a yeah. newbie. And everyone said like how small the industry was. And I was like, you have no idea what you're talking about. There are so many people. But I was wrong. <laughs> there, it is not. It is quite small. Mm -hmm. It is very small. Um, but yeah, it's been very interesting to like, I, I made some sort of uh, comment about you know, working with some fresh faces, which is another feature that we do right. on the site that Emilio or I shoot. Um, and you shoot someone that it's their first show on Broadway or off Broadway. And you get to know them, you get to work with them, and then you see them for the next, like, 12 years of their life. Right. And, you know, depending on, you know, what shows they're in and in and out of seasons, you see them over and over again. Right. And you'll see them at openings, and you get to know these people, and you get to become friends with some of them. I know you have very close relationships yeah. with a lot of people that are on Broadway and off. And it's something I never never was really prepared for. So it's been really nice to like actually make real relationships with people that are actually ridiculously talented. And you're just like, <laughs> I can take photos. It's fine. And we're also, we're actually, right now we're doing a bunch of photos for our fall preview. We are. Which is yep. coming up in the next, early next month. Mm -hmm. And you, we're doing a shoot, you're doing a shoot tonight. Yes. Let's tell everyone who you're shooting we're tonight. We're staying late. It's Broadway.com at night. <laughs> and 
Uh, yeah. We are doing uh, Christiani Pitts for King Kong. Right, Star of King she's Kong. She's going to come in and she's going to get... gorgeous. So talk a little oh. bit briefly about yeah. what is the process before... And I'm staying to do an interview, so I'm going to do... There's an interview component mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. Um, what is... How, what's the getting ready? Like, so right after this shoot happens, we're literally... It's happening in this room. Yes. So we're going to take this table away yes. and all this stuff. All of this has to go, Kyle... Pay attention. <laughs> All of this has to go. Yeah. And then we have to bring in a bunch of uh, paper backdrops and we have to get them as literally high as possible, yep. which is difficult here because there's a whole lighting track up here. We're very right. official. Um, it's a very small room. When most people is. come here, like when Nathan Lane came, he, they're always like, <laughs> Nathan Lane walked in this room for show people and he said, what do you shoot, porn in here? <laughs> Uh, because it surprises people yeah, yeah. like it's small and we mm-hmm. make it look bigger than it is yeah but, we do good work we yeah, do good work but, here um, and what about the styling what's the process of that we have a bunch of stylists we work with yeah we have a few stylists that we've got relationships with that they come in and they um, they work with us uh, pretty uh, intimately on what we want and the directions we want to take the shoot mm-hmm. for. So we did one with Stephanie J. Block yes, we did. from the Share Show, yeah. which, by the way, I cannot wait to see her be Share. She's after, fantastic. I mean, after you listen to Share and see Stephanie J. Block dressed in a gorgeous outfit, belting Share in your face while you have a camera three inches from her head. Yeah, because she was doing it, by the way, at that oh, photo shoot. You, full you, volume. Did she say she wanted to listen to Share? Yes. So you put Share every yes. time I walked in the room, the Share's greatest hits was on. And, and she was she was full out doing it. She yep. was doing all the shares. And she all had the, the hands. It was amazing. And I was like, I, I don't understand. Is this like? Do I have to pay admission? <laughs> for this <laughs> is there an intermission here i'm not sure oh what are gosh. ticket prices because it was just so and that's one of the things that's so amazing about this is you get to meet people that are not like stephanie has actually not been on broadway well she was in falsettos that's yeah. not true but we weren't doing these shoots correct then so i never actually got to like in person meet stephanie j block in the five years that i worked here right. until that day and i walked up to her and said hi i don't know that i've met you but I've seen your headshot a lot of times. <laughs> so it feels like I know you, but I don't actually know if we've right. ever met. But she was cool about it. She hugged me. She's, She's very sweet. But, you know, it's you get to see these people so intimately. And, you know, mm-hmm. now I'm so excited for the Cher show because she was so... A, she looked amazing, which, oh my gosh. I cannot believe she's a mother. It yeah. makes me nervous. I'm like... Yeah. He's a she's go a home Jersey and go housewife who's also a Broadway diva. Yes. Yeah. And she's amazing. And her just her voice sounded amazing. She looked gorgeous. Uh, we, we've been working with a stylist named Carlton Jones who's mm-hmm. been providing amazing stuff. So wait, for so us. he gets their sizes and then he brings in a bunch of things. And then yes. you like work with the person yes. and you see what they yep. comfortable with. And mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. It's a whole and process. Sure is. Yeah. It's fun. I mean, it's crazy. I never thought when I started here. Five years ago, I used to do fresh face shoots by myself at, like, a diner. Right. Mm-hmm. And it would be me and the publicist. Right. Hi, Whitney Holden Gore. She was my first. Uh, she was there for my first. My first fresh face was Aaron C. Finley from Rock of Ages. Yeah. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> um, and literally, we were at a diner by ourselves. It was just me and Aaron and Whitney. And we just, like, took photos for 15 minutes and then I left right that was it right. that was now, now we've ramped up <laughs> that's a little now, bit different <laughs> now I'm styling Stephanie J. Block yeah. and she's belting Cher in my face yeah that's do you believe in life after love not after Stephanie J. Block <laughs> saying it in my face right never can't do it Hey, Caitlin Moynihan, does anyone yeah. online have anything to say? Oh, we got a lot of questions. Oh, today. yeah? Yeah, Let's we actually got a lot of questions. First of all, a lot of people are loving you right now. This is oh. amazing. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this one you kind of touched on uh, about the approach of styling. Mm-hmm. So do you kind of let the Broadway star in question know about what you're doing ahead of time? Mm. Is it kind of they show up and then you explain it and they kind of just roll with it? Yeah, what kind of information goes back yeah. and forth? It well, kind of depends on the person. It depends on the person. It depends on the show. Yeah. So like for Stephanie J. Block, she is in a show that is being designed by Bob Mackey, who did, you know, is very... Legendary um, costume yes, designer. Yes, yes. I'm scared of his name, actually. <laughs> it made me nervous when I just said it out loud. <laughs> um, and... 
Bob Mackie was is involved with the share costumes and yeah. doing all of that. So it's very, you know, they want to be careful because Stephanie J. Block for the fall preview in the share show, that has not really been done yet on Broadway. Want to represent the show they haven't, and the actor. Yeah, they haven't, yeah. like, publicized it a lot. So we had to be very careful about who, uh, what we were styling them in. And Carlton is very sweet, and he was very involved in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. He was very much like... Okay, so what can we do? What does she like? And what is the show okay with us using? Right. And it ended up working out really well. And um, sometimes it's very like, you know, okay, so we want to do, like the Aaron and Karen photo mm -hmm. was very much like, okay, we want to operate on these colors. You know, we want to do um, such and so with the backdrop and the lighting and the show is Moulin Rouge. So we want it to be a little bit sparkly, but not like, too sparkly because mm -hmm. it's in the lobby. I would of our say, building. for the most part, that the publicists and the actors, I would correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. for the most part, they don't have very strong opinions about. No. Like, I feel like yeah. for the most part, they, it, unless it's like a big star where they're really right, gonna, they'll right. be like, what's your, sometimes they'll say, what's your vision for mm -hmm. this? Yeah. And generally speaking, they're not, they know us at this point. Like, we've, we've worked with so many people for so long that, like, it, they know that what we're going to produce will ultimately look quite nice. Yeah, it's yeah. a thing. We've cultivated a nice reputation. And yeah, we worked yeah. real hard for that. I'm here to tell you. I'm still sweating. But <laughs> it's fine. Um, so it's one of those things where you literally, you you just kind of uh, look at, we look at the show. We look at what, what the show's about. We look at the decade the show takes place in. Right. Mm -hmm. If there's a, a certain part of the show that's really like, influential uh visually speaking i mean i'm gonna have a heart attack if we ever do anything with moulin rouge because i'm just gonna be like i don't know there's a lot there's a lot to go to france to do it i'm we're gonna have to it. just like buckle down and pick because it's gonna be rough but um it's you know you pick from those things and then it also comes into you take into account like the the person like how we're how are they shaped? What it, what right. do they look good in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, all of that kind of comes into a nice little mm -hmm. pie, hopefully. What else? Amazing. Sure. Uh, okay. So, how do you deal if someone is not necessarily the easiest to shoot with? Um, we've had we've we're pretty lucky. Yeah. We've, we haven't had a ton of problems, but when we do have someone that's uncomfortable or uh, a little less cooperative. You basically just try to make them feel as comfortable as possible. Yeah, I've seen you talk. It's a lot mm -hmm. of it is in the communication. Yeah, or you do something really stupid, which is my go-to. Like I'll put, I'll leave the lens cap on the camera, and I'll be like, "Oh, I've done this before. Don't worry." <laughs> so you just like put it on yourself, <laughs> like because you're trying to be like I'm the fool. And what do you mean by that? I mean it just kind of disarms them, mm -hmm. so they're like, "Oh, she's teasing. Like uh -huh. she's joking with me. She's." not threatening because it's i mean to be photographed especially if you're a stage person like if you're a theater person actress actor those are words um if you're one of those people you're used to them you're used to them being over there mm -hmm. you're not used to having a camera right, right in your face right so having a camera in your face can be a little bit like uncomfortable mm -hmm. so by kind of telling them that you're non-threatening that you're you know you're it's going to be fun it's going to be goofy it's going to be light it can that Got can it. help another yeah. thing that helps this is emilio's go-to he automatically asks what they want to listen to like mm -hmm. music, music wise M uh emilio's go-to is always music and he always picks a really funny thing however i will say when he photographed jeremy jordan i found out that he was obsessed with dashboard confessional I can't we talk about it. Now. And me and Jeremy Jordan were just like singing Dashboard Confessional in the studio, and it was embarrassing for mostly me. But well, and sometimes Emilio sings you. along with the music. Oh, okay. he definitely does. That was a funny story over cheesecake. What yes. else we got, Caitlin? <laughs> sure, let's do one more question. Um, okay. Ooh, okay. Who is the most meaningful person that you have ever photographed? Oh. Oh, Like my. to you personally. Saj Army Hammer. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> that was hard. Um, <laughs> the uh, most meaningful person. This is difficult. Is but I think I think Ryan Gilbert, who was just in here a second yeah. ago, asked me this exact same question, and I was like, I don't know what I don't know what to say. 
I don't know. It's what to hard say when about you this. do a lot because it kind of turns into a blur. Yeah. But can you think of something afterwards you were like, you very rarely, I will say, ask for a photo with people. I, yeah. I try not to because it's more, I think that it's more meaningful that I actually photograph. But you them. did recently. I don't remember who that was. You recently posed for a photo. The only one I think, I, Aaron and I took a photo together, to Aaron to bait, and that yeah. was because I have shot him for years. Yeah. And we had never actually taken a photo together. Um, the one I can recall, Diana Rigg, because mm. I'm a Game of Thrones fan, and mm -hmm. <laughs> Joffrey needed to go. So, <laughs> cheers. Um, and then um, I think I posed for with Keegan Michael Key and Lord Laura Benanti. Oh, that's what I was actually what I was thinking because of. That's what I was also, thinking Also, I look yeah. gorgeous in that photo. <laughs> I look so good. I don't know what was happening that day. I don't think I ate. I drank for like a week beforehand or something. I looked great. Um, and then, but I'll, I'm a huge fan of Laura Benanti because she's ridiculous. Like she's yeah. so funny and she's so pretty yeah, and yeah. I can't. And Keegan Michael Key is just, oh. <laughs> that was a great photo shoot. I will say, like that was a moment I was thinking of. The uh, Keegan, my going back to whoever asked me about like disarming people. Yeah. yeah, that is one of the things that I think is the most fun because we just shot um, two really really funny people for the fall preview. Yeah, and a thing that I've started being able to do is actually like work with people and say like, tell me this story with your like with each other, and that's how I'll photograph you. And that's been really while they're talking. Yeah. They're so like for Keegan Michael Key, I don't want to give away my secrets, but yeah. for Keegan Michael Key and Laura Benanti, I was just like, I want Laura Benanti to be, I want Keegan Michael Key to be telling me a story, and Laura, you're gonna tell him he's telling it wrong. Right. And then they started this whole yeah, sketch that was hilarious. out of the ether. They yeah. just started a whole sketch about like a Christmas gift. Right. Amazing. And they just talked and talked, and I just took pictures. It was the easiest thing I've ever done. That, I mean, that's just a weird example yeah. of, yeah. like, something fun. But, you know, who knows? I don't usually ask for pictures, though. I think I No, just, I know. I would just rather be taking that time to actually take a good photo of them. Yeah, I got it. I got yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, I also took pictures with the two stars of Pose. I took a selfie after. Oh, right. With and Paul is my unofficial behind-the-scenes photographer. I like taking pictures of her while she's taking pictures And I people. appreciate that. Yeah. I'm a pretty good amateur photographer. He's really good yeah. at it. Thank you. Like, you took a really stellar one of me and Denzel Washington this past season oh, yeah. that I will someday frame. Yeah. Frame bridge. There you go. Uh, <laughs> okay, it. we've gone over. Yeah. I know Kyle's like, when is Sorry, this going to wrap up? And I then, talk when some, I'm nervous. And we also have some photographer coming in here that needs to clear the studio out for a shoot. No, no, he has to clear the studio out for, for my you. shoot. I know. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, take the, I'll take that. Kaylin McNaney. <laughs> We love having you here at Broadway.com. Yes. Happy anniversary. Five Yay. years and one day. Five years and one yes. day. Yes. Yay. We're going to celebrate this week. Heck yeah. End week, week ish. End of the yeah, week. Yeah, we're actually having a retreat later. There's no live at five this week from Wednesday on because yeah. we're going to be at a retreat having fun. At a Ooh. pool. And doing creative things too. Anyway. I mean, we don't. But not live at five. No, no. We're taking a break. You're taking a break. But we'll be here tomorrow. We all need. We'll a be break. here tomorrow. Yes. With an amazing. Hey, uh, oh. hey, Caitlin, that's a very good cue. Very good. Why don't you take Caitlin, us out? Caitlin Dose. Caitlin Dose. Okay, thank you guys so much for tuning in for our very special episode of Live at Five. You can listen to all of our other Live at Five interviews in a podcast version by searching hashtag Live at Five. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to Dear Evan Hansen's Lisa Brescia.